Hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I am a Whovian and today I review Doctor Who Terminus. So this is a Fifth Doctor serial from 1983, it's the second uh, part of the Black Guardian trilogy and also Nissa's final story, so a companion exit story and um, in this, uh, you know, Tullo, so sort of carrying on from the previous serial, the uh, modern death, undead um, you know, Tullo is still under the influence of the Black Guardian and sabotages the TARDIS where he puts the Doctor and his companions in grave danger where they where Nyssa is then lost on a space liner and the Doctor begins a search for her and they soon find uh, Terminus, a space station in the centre of the universe where uh, you know, complications happen and the whole universe is at peril. So that's the essential story. So what did I like about this? Well, I like that we see Peter Davison as the Doctor, he's okay in this, and Janet Fielding as Tegan. And, of course, Mark Strixton as Tullo. Um, of course, he was still new to it at the time. Um, I also um, thought the story was interesting and the effects were decent uh, for it, for the time. Um, and it had a good finale. We had a big wolf-like monster alien thing that controlled the ship or something. And um, we had some other characters in there that were introduced. And, again, this is also Sarah Sutton's final story, so she makes her exit and decides to stay on board as she, as she feels that she needs to help them out on the ship. So that's the last we see of, um, you know, Nyssa, uh, who had been with the Fifth Doctor since his beginning, since Tom Baker's final outing and Peter Davison's start. So, um... Yeah, I thought she did a good performance in this, and the set and the scenery was alright, but what I didn't like, well, I feel that part one and two were just boring. I, I, I'm being honest here, I thought episode one and two, you know, part one and two were boring, and this just felt like one long filler episode that dragged on for four episodes, that's what it felt like to me. You know, I, there were moments where I got bored and I even looked at my phone and at one point I had to take a break because I was bored watching it. But part from part three it started to pick up a bit more and a lot more happened in it. But for just those first two parts I felt they dragged. Uh, also I feel that, you know, the Black Guardian didn't do much in it. I mean, all he was there for was to manipulate Tolo and tell him to do this, that and the other, to sabotage the TARDIS and that. He didn't really do anything, the Black Guardian, in this. And, I mean, I get that this was the second part of a trilogy, but like I say, Black Guardian hardly did anything but, you know, order Tolo about. I mean, the actor who played him did a good performance, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I feel that, again, Tegan didn't really do much in this story as well. She was pretty much stranded with Tolo, and Tolo did not mu didn't do much either, apart from sabotage the TARDIS and that. Um, so, i got to say, I was a bit let down by this serial. You know, I mean, like I say, you know, four-parters, I, I can sit through two-parts are even better, but... Yeah, I just feel that this isn't the, one of the best ones, in my opinion. Sorry to, to be negative on it, but I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Terminus. What am I going to rate this one? Because I think I've said all I need to say about it. I'll give the performances a, a 7. The writing, a 6. The visuals, um, a 7. And my personal, I'll give it a... I think I'll give my personal a, a 6, because like I say, weren't too impressed with it. But, you know, that's just the, the, you know, the whole point of it. Sometimes, you know, it has an off day. Not every episode's brilliant, so... There. There you go. So there is my Who review on Doctor Who Terminus. So have you seen this one? 
let me know all that down in the comments below. Do you like it better than me? Do you, do you think it's a better story? Let me know all that. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and to feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below so you can check all that out. I've been Davros the Whovian and this has been a Who Review. So until next time, run for your life.